Ashley with At Home with Ashley and this week we are diamond painting. If you've never heard of that, it's where you take these tiny little rhinestones and you place them one by one onto a canvas and it comes coated kind of like a paint by numbers and you put the right di diamond on the right part and it makes this beautiful picture. Well, I'm not that excited about that, but what I'm excited about is using these rhinestones on an object. So I was at the antique shop and I got this cute ice cream cone. It's a, <laughs> it's a cookie jar, but I don't like the chocolate part. So I thought we could cover this in rhinestones. I hope I can figure it out. So let's see if we can make this cute together. Here is what I'm using for this project. So first of all, I have this accessory pack and it comes with the stylus, the grippers, the trays, the wax, the things I need to put each of these little tiny diamond dots onto the top of the ice cream cone. And I'll put the numbers of each one, so if you wanna do these exact rainbow colors, you can. For the glue, I am using this Fast Grab Tacky Glue, and you just need something to apply the rhinestones to the object, so I think this will work nicely. The first thing I'm thinking we need to do is plan ahead. So what I did was I measured like the whole ice cream cone top that's 12 and a half inches, I have 10 colors, so 12 and a half divided by 10 is one inch and a quarter. So I think I'm gonna just take my measuring tape and mark on it an inch and a quarter up with a pencil or a crayon because the crayon's actually showing. And then I'll know how far I can go. And do I think this is terribly necessary? I think you could eyeball it, but I do like the idea that it'll be pretty even and then that'll just help it look better. So a little bit of planning, help it look better in the long run, and then I'll know you start and you stop here. Just makes it simpler. Okay, so now it's time to get ready to put the dots on. So what we're gonna do is this is a little pot of wax and you take the stylus and you're gonna put it in and that gets a piece of wax in the top of the stylus so then when you go to get the dots, it'll stick on. Now that the wax is in, we need to get the dots into the tray. So I'm going to start with pink. I'm going in rainbow order, pastel rainbow order, which means pink is first. And you're going to pour just a little bit into the tray. And then you're going to hold it up on an angle and tap it so they kind of fall in the lines. And you want the fat side up and the flat side down so it's easier to work with. Apply glue to one section of the object. It's important to only glue as far as you think you can cover in rhinestones in one setting. I find it helpful to use a paintbrush to evenly distribute the glue where I want it. Note this glue goes on white and then it dries clear so you can kind of tell when it's drying. So once your glue is on, you're going to take the stylus, poke it on a dot, and then put it the dot in place. And then you just go one after another. I've gotten pretty far on the pink. I got a nice rainbow shape. But as I'm going, I'm a little concerned that possibly I should have painted the whole thing white before I began um, because the brown, like this glue will dry clear and the brown is definitely showing through and it's not really the look I like. So I don't think I want to pull them all off, but I am wondering, like I do think that would have been a better move like a few days ago paint it so it would be all cured by now. One cool thing about the tray is that it also acts like a funnel, so when you're done with one dot color, you can use that to put it back in the package. Use the stylus to gently grab the rounded side of the rhinestone, then place the flat side on the object. Repeat until the section is full of dots and complete. I find it best to place a row of crystals and then stagger the next row so they nestle as close as possible to the first row. Note on my second row, I made a mistake. Instead of applying the rhinestones next to the last row, I started at the line I drew for where the color should end. Those were on, and then I realized I should start on the last row of the lightest pink. So I filled those in, and it resulted in uneven filling of the area, which doesn't look as good. Instead, make sure to go row by row to evenly fill up the blank space. If you don't go row by row, at least go again to already placed dots so that they can be pushed close together. Okay, here's how far we are. I'm getting ready to open my next container and I wanted to show you to open it like the label is in the way it kind of covers it so you have to take the whole label off in order to open it which I think is annoying but you don't really lose any information this has the number on it but so does the top so just take that off and then you can open it Ta -da. This project was a slow one. Each of the middle rows took one to two hours each. I estimate I spent at least 10 hours putting dots or gems onto this cute little ice cream cone.
if I was to do this project again, which I absolutely would do, I'd slowly do it over e- evenings or while watching a show or listening to a really good podcast. I just pushed through and did it nonstop over two and a half days. So plan on this taking many afternoons. And here's how the ice cream cone turned out. I think it's really fun and it's one of a kind piece now. I a little bit wish I'd swirled the colors onto the top to make it look like twist ice cream, but I still love it. I'm really happy with how it looks in the rooms and the colors are worlds better than the dark brown for my house. It sparkles in the light and it is so fun. What do you guys think about this? I'm glad I did it and I wanna do another object. What object would you do? Price breakdown, I spent $52 total, 30 on the ice cream cone, $4 on the accessories, $4 on glue and 14 on the diamond dots. I hope that this was really helpful for you and I would love to hear what you would like to make. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos.